it's Jen. Welcome to Art Scene. We are in Long Island City, Queens, a bubbling artist-filled neighborhood to visit the studio of Bill Claps. Not only is his work beautiful and plated in gold, it's also really smart. Let's go talk to him. Usually there's some inspiration involved that comes from, from somewhere else and then you add you to it. Right, exactly. Nothing yeah. really is original. I mean, no idea is original, obviously, because we're influenced by everything we see and right. everyone who comes before us. So within the series, I was looking at um, art historical icons, but also religious icons. I mean, no, no religion stems from the ether, right? Everything is derived or everything. Every religion is well, has, I feel like has our a basis. history is so tied to religion too. It is. It is. And, and you know, Christianity comes from Judaism, which came from prior beliefs and animistic And it's beliefs. all derivative. And it's all derivative. <laughs> I'm looking at a lot of different, um, a lot of my influences, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out why I'm attracted to certain art or certain certain imagery. A lot of the Japanese masters from the 1800s uh, influenced a lot of the Impressionists and a lot of the post-Impressionists, like Manet, Monet, Gauguin, uh, Van Gogh, in, in a huge way. Like, and, I mean, this is very, I mean, speaking of Monet, I mean, this is like lily pads, like this is yeah, very... Yeah, this one is, this one's probably the most literal of all. Yeah. It's obviously owed to Monet. It's a uh, lily pond upstate, in upstate New York where I, which I really like, and I, I hike in that area quite a bit. This piece right here is actually the little, literal translation of art speak, and then I took took the language, the actual phrases, and I translated them into Morse code. So right. I've been working with Morse code, um, and then I made paintings out of the actual language. The idea of gilding them is to give more importance to the language. So in contemporary art, uh, the language or how the work is described is sometimes more important than the actual object itself. Which is sad. Yeah. <laughs> or in my view. Uh, yeah, <laughs> possibly. In my view, I think it's a little sad. I think it should be about the work. Yeah. Why is authenticity and this search for, you know, genuine connectivity, why is it so important? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I think every day I think about what's what's important. What am I here for? You know, and I think I'm here to make things, and to like be maybe a, like a vessel from which ideas flow and something comes out. And in order to do that, um, you try not to be too much of a filter. And so, if you put too much too much of a barrier around yourself, then it kind of blocks that flow. Very cool. Oh, Bill, I mean, this was such a pleasure. I really appreciate you having us by your studio, talking about your work and your life and your travels with me. This has been amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming by. Appreciate it. Thanks, Bill. really good to see you. And thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Art Scene.